Once more, it's good to have you with me for another devotion. For the last two sermonettes and the devotion in between, we've been talking about the authority, the authority that Jesus Christ has and that he's given it us through himself for the church. And he regained that and he has delegated that authority for you and for me to go forth and to minister in his power and in his grace. And we said some scriptures back. It's an incomparable power. So what I want to talk to you about today is embrace this authority that you have in Jesus. He is the head of the church. We are part of the church. And he is far above all rule and powers and dominions. And he is our Lord and Savior. I'd like to start off with Colossians 2, verses 13 to 15, NIV translation. Let me read this to you. Paul writes to the church and he says, When you were, when you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, of your flesh God made you alive with Christ. As he raised Christ from the dead, he makes us alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal, legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away by nailing it to the cross. And, wow, yeah, I love this and, and having disarmed the powers and the authorities he made, a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Remember the audacity of Satan saying, saying to Jesus, all authority is mine, I can give it to you, I can give it to anybody I want. And Jesus says, by Paul writing about Jesus says, he disarmed he took away the power to harm us in every sense of the word by Jesus dying on the cross. Now, in simplistic terms, for each and every one of us to understand, through the blood of Jesus, I'm forgiven. I'm no longer under the authority and the power and the rule and the dominion of the enemy. I'm now under the authority and the power and the rule of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, my Savior, Jesus Christ. So I'm forgiven. So what is my encouragement in this devotion? Embrace this. Assimilate this. Make this your own and enjoy it. There's a wonderful example of somebody embracing the words of Jesus. And I want to point you to the Roman centurion that comes to Jesus and says, Would you please heal my servant? And Jesus offers to go with him. Now, the point I want to make is in Matthew 8, verse 8 and 9, in the NIV translation, we read the following. The centurion replied and he said, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come, un come under my roof, but just say the word. This is a Roman centurion. This is actually a pagan. He says, you just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority. When soldiers under me, I tell this one, go and he goes and that one come and he comes. I say to my servant, do this and he does this. And then Jesus is absolutely astounded and amazed that he is a Roman displaying and embracing faith that he had the power to heal. We are so uh, preconditioned to think it has to be a formula, whereas Jesus says one word and the healing took place. And he responds to this Roman's faith by saying, this is great faith. Now, we as the church, we, we, we under various denominations and cultures and races and creeds, and we have differences in styles of worship and preaching and gathering together on certain days and all that, irrespective of all of that, 
what are you and I embracing? I am embracing the power of Jesus Christ, the risen Lord and Savior. I'm embracing his authority and I'm cherishing it. And I am responding by obeying God's word. Previous sermonettes, therefore, go and preach your word. And I will be with you and I will confirm this. I always get back to this encouragement. As you embrace Christ's authority, use it in sharing with the world Christ's love and forgiveness. Do you accept that challenge? I trust so. Are you embracing the word of God? Are you embracing this, what you know is the authority of God? I trust that that is so. Father, thank you that we can embrace not a religion, but a relationship with the all authoritative King of Kings and Lord of Lords, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for this. Amen and amen. I'm looking forward to next Sunday sermon. Trust you too. God bless.